boom, and here we are, less than a month later. Today is June 23rd, and look at that hanging basket. All right, guys, sit back, because today we're going to answer some questions. We're going to have a little fun. We're going to make a hanging basket with these petunias that we did that fertilizer video on just a month, month and a half ago. All right, so the first thing I want to do with these little guys, they've been growing indoors under my T8 bulbs, and they've been flowering really nice, but I want to cut these back a little bit. So I'm going to take all these flower blooms off of these guys, and we're just going to kind of clean it up, because what I want to do is force the plant, once I get all of these planted into the hanging basket, I want to force it to just redirect all of its energy down into the roots and start growing tons of roots so that it can then redirect upward and start growing tons of beautiful flowers that will go all summer long. All right, so we've got everything whittled down here to some nice green growth here, and all these are just going to veg out really nicely from all the little nodes down in there, and then they're going to bloom really beautiful and just cascade over the hanging basket. Here's the hanging basket that we're going to use. We picked this up a couple years ago and actually have never used it yet. It was stored away, so it's going to be the perfect setup to start with these little petunias. This is the potting soil that I'm going with, and this is, you can use any potting soil. This just comes from a local farm store, actually one that my wife works at. It's a really good potting soil. We've been getting it around this area for years. It's a really nice blend of, just looks like composted wood chips and peat and just all kinds of nice material. Now there's no fertilizer in this potting soil, so I'm gonna add this chicken manure. We're gonna mix a little bit of chicken manure in there. And if you guys have been watching my wife's channel, I'll put a link in the description. You've been watching those videos and seeing her little example of how the chicken manure does versus the steer manure. And after seeing that, I'm going with the chicken manure. And that's some nice stuff, guys. Look at that. Beautiful, rich potting soil. And now with the chicken manure, we're just gonna add some of that to the top. And then kind of start mixing it in a little bit. It doesn't have to go down deep. All of the nutrients from this is just gonna leach down into the potting soil and down where the roots are as we water. I just like to mix it into the top layers. All right, so now that we've got all our components together here, we've got our potting soil and our chicken manure, we're gonna take these cups here and we're just gonna pot them into here. So now we've got five of these and some of you may be asking, why so many in one container? Yes, you could spread them out over a couple containers, but we just want this to be at the anchor point of our front porch and these guys are just gonna grow huge and fill out this entire pot and just be cascading over very soon. And that's why I'm packing them in tightly. All this, these roots here are gonna have room to grow and they're all gonna intertwine, but we'll keep it watered, keep the soil moist, and these things are just gonna grow like crazy. And if you see the labels on here, mother plant, I've got this one over here, it says Epsom salt. That was from our little experiment we did. They're all looking the same now pretty much because I've been fertilizing them all with the same fertilizer lately. And if you guys are interested to know, and you can go back and search my channel for it, these petunias are actually cuttings of petunias that I took last fall just kept them indoors growing all winter long, so I didn't have to go buy these petunias this year at the nursery center. These were all essentially free petunias. I mean, I did pay for them last year, but this year, I've had these guys. I've had them indoors all winter long and taken as many cuttings as I've wanted to off of them, and these things were already here and ready to use this summer. And it's almost looking like I may only get four of these to fit in here. One last little top dressing of potting soil here, just to kind of cover up those top roots. The last thing we're gonna do, this is that fertilizer I'm talking about. It's a pelletized fertilizer here, a granular fertilizer. It's slow release, and it's got all the micronutrients, the right ratio of NPK for acid-loving plants, but it actually works on anything I've got around here. But I'm just gonna take a little bit of this. Oh, it's a four-month slow release. And like I said, I've got a video on this, uh, link in the description. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit. We don't need much, these are just petunias. And we've already got that chicken fertilizer mixed in there. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this pelletized fertilizer down in there. And it will release slowly over the summer. Keep these guys fed and healthy and doing well. 
All right, and there it is, guys, our beautiful little hanging basket. So we got four of them in there. They're all packed in real tightly. We've got them fertilized. They're planted in just a nice, beautiful medium. These things should start growing great. Now, I'm not done quite yet because I know that you guys like to see the end result. And what would a video be if all I did was end it right here? So we're going to give this a little bit of time. And we're going to come back when this thing is flowering all over the place because I know you want to see that. And in the spirit of hanging baskets, and just for good measure, I've decided to hang this up inside of the hoop house so we can watch it every day as we come out here and see how this little thing is developing. Can't wait to show you the results, guys. Boom, and here we are, less than a month later. Today is June 23rd, and look at that hanging basket. Sucker is just flushed out with beautiful growth. Lots of red, beautiful flowers, and our petunias are growing fantastic. From every angle, this thing is just doing awesome, guys. Look at that, look at all that growth in there. Isn't that beautiful? Look at these red flowers. Deep red flowers, I love these things. And I got something to talk to you about now because this thing is beautiful. So that is how you create a hanging basket. And isn't that just absolutely gorgeous, guys? So this is just to show you that it works. Now, if you've been following this channel for a while, we actually took these cuttings. We didn't, we didn't buy this at a nursery. We took these cuttings last summer, late last summer, because a lot of you were coming on asking me a particular question. You said, Mike, how do I get these petunias? Now that they're all the way through the summer and they're blooming beautifully, how do I get them through the winter to next year? Because I was showing you how to propagate these things. I was showing you how to take the cuttings. And then you were saying, what do I do with them now? Because they're gonna fade out and they're gonna die in the cold of the winter. Well, we did some videos last summer and we took cuttings of these and then we got them through the winter. And I made a lot of videos through the winter showing these petunias growing under my table in the house under T8 bulbs. And we got them all through just fine. Now, today is June 23rd and we still got lots of summer to go. So I can enjoy this hanging basket all summer long. But I actually started these cuttings kind of late. Well, I started them early for a different video, but we planted them in the hanging basket later. If you would have started this a little bit sooner indoors, you could have this thing growing like this a month ago, maybe even a month and a half ago in this region. But man, if you guys want to see how all that worked out, go back and check through my channel. You can find a lot of videos on how we got to this point, but this is absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to leave it hanging in here. I've been teasing you guys. I've had it hanging behind me there for almost a month now since we started it in several other videos and only one of you asked about it but uh there it is there's that beautiful hanging basket of petunias and you guys can do this too like i said we started by just taking a couple cuttings getting them through the winter and here we are and i paid nothing for it isn't that cool i think that is just so awesome so fantastic all right, so there it is, guys, hanging up behind us. I think I'll leave it there for a little bit longer and bump my head into it a few more times. We can enjoy it all summer long. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one, watching that hanging basket develop. I think it was fun. I know I did. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to follow along. Have a fantastic week, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.